Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play, or should I say, another replay. This, of course, is the one and only Jungle Strike. What a blast from the past this is. Of course, sequel to Desert Strike, and listen to that angry, angry uh, Mega Drive tones there. Or Genesis, if uh, you're from the States. What a game this is, what a treat, what a legendary uh, experience, should we say. Um, they were definitely a interesting trio, the Strike games. They were very unique, uh, totally different to other shmups of the time. Well, were they really shmups? I mean, they were shooters, of course. Not that we would really call them a shooter by today's standards, but there we are. Anyway. Let's watch. Oof. Impressive. As I said, I still have nuclear resources. So, can you deliver the components to my jungle fortress? With ease. Is 72 hours soon enough? I cannot wait to avenge my father's death. Oh. Destroying Washington, D.C. will teach the Yankees to stay out of my drug trade. <laughs> Oof. I love it. At last, they will suffer greatly for the trouble they've caused us. Oh my god, look how good this looks. We interrupt this broadcast for a special report. Moments ago, a nuclear explosion was detected off the coast of South America. As of yet, no one has claimed responsibility for the blast. We will keep you informed as the story develops. Ooh, that music. Hello. Captain, there's been an incident. I just saw it. Somebody showing off. There's a special forces briefing at the White House at 0800 hours. I'm there. Well, well, well. Here we are on the main menu. Now, you can see from the transition from uh, Desert Strike, it's like the development resources and budget and all that good stuff kind of went up significantly. In, For instance, in Jungle Strike. Uh, in Desert Strike, I'm going to keep getting them mixed up. There was only four missions. In this, I believe there's eight or maybe nine. That's over twice the content. Now, that's not the only thing that skyrocketed in this game. The difficulty has also gone through the roof. This game is brutal. And out of the five strike games, mm, nuclear strike maybe, mm, out of the five strike games, this, in my opinion, is by far the hardest game. This game doesn't fuck around. And the levels, from what I can remember, with the exception of possibly the second one, are actually a little bit longer as well. So this one might take me a little bit to record because there's two missions in particular that I'm thinking of that, well, let's just say, are going to be a bit of a nightmare. I was, I have been looking forward to this, uh, recording this game uh, since I announced the replay uh, series. And I know one of you in particular, uh, a couple of you actually, are quite looking forward to this one. But as much as I was looking forward to recording it, I was also, well, dreading <laughs> certain parts of it. But hey, we'll cover those bridges when we get to them. So things are different again. I have my 8 bit Doe M30 control pad, which let me tell you that this game really doesn't play that well with an Xbox 360 control pad, which is what I did at the time, I think. Mainly because the D-pad on the Xbox 360 controller is a turd. A lot of people say that the 360 pad is the best in, like ever. I'm not so sure about that. It's good, but the D-pad is awful. Anyway, so let's go for B. 
to change our co-pilot. Oh, my control pad has turned itself off. That's good. There we go. So, uh, also, there's a few more uh, co-pilots to choose from this time. Um, to begin with, we only have Mr. 3D. Still smells like the Academy. <laughs> Mr. 3D can pluck the Plemento out of an olive with the winch, but can't hit a white whale on a black background. Well, that ain't no good. Um, yeah, so we also have Ego. Ego is the most focused co-pilot of the group. He doesn't have a life. He doesn't want one. He's average with the gun and winch... Always ready. Ego never sleeps. Well, maybe if the guy got some damn sleep, he might actually uh, become competent. Who knows? But Face Man is the next guy. But we can't get him just yet. We should be able to pick him up on the second mission. So Face Man, he's a hot gunner, but his winch skills could freeze a campfire. Recruited from a local arcade. <laughs> oh, how 90s. Every mission is a game to him. He was last seen off the coast of South America. Who else have we got? Annihilator. Rosalind D. She's a tough, tenacious co-pilot that is a force to reckon with. Roz is good at everything, except her aim is shaky. She was last heard from over a dark jungle. Oof. Oh, that gives me chills. The dark jungle level. Night Strike. Oh, that's going to... That's going to be hard. And then, of course, we've got Wild Bill. Wild Bill's the best of the bunch. Just ask him. <laughs> yeah. He's <clears throat> the top gunner, and he uses the winch like a lasso. He learned the rules so he could break them. Okay. So, well, I mean, we only really have one choice here, and it's not Mr. 3D. It's Ego. So let's load up Ego and head on to Campaign 1, Washington, D.C. Oh, the music's so much better as well. Here's the situation. We have a spy satellite photos of the blast area simultaneous with the detonation. Mm -hmm. Good thing Congress didn't cut the space program. Much. <laughs> this Imperial yacht was spotted near the destroyed island. Any idea whose toy boat it is? We further enhanced the picture and identified these two suspects. Boy, these guys look familiar. Ugly, but familiar. They should. Carlos Ortega, the notorious South American drug lord. His huge private army just sprung him from a Florida prison. Hmm. A lot of good men died to put him in that prison. This is Ibn Kilbaba, son of the Desert Strike madman and more ruthless than his father ever was. Uh oh. Birds of a feather, what's the plan? You will take command of the Super Comanche attack helicopter. Your first mission is to stop the terrorists threatening the capital. Oh, that music. Good. I was afraid this was going to be easy. Oof. Next. The President's motorcade will arrive soon. Make sure it's safe. And last. Ivan Kilbana men in DC know where the drug lord's jungle fortress is. Find them. No sweat. <laughs> Just select your co-pilot and you're ready to go. Already done, my friend. Already done. Right, okay, so a little bit different to Desert Strike, isn't it? I mean, it's familiar. You know, you recognize the scent, but there's something a little bit different about it. We have a new look of paint. And what's that? Is that green, I see? Yes, not quite so much yellow. Um, and, well, I suppose lavenderish colours towards the end as well. So, monuments. What have we got here? The terrorist attack. Uh, terrorist attacks on our nas uh, nation's capital. I can't read. I'm very tired. It's my birthday today. Don't know if I mentioned that. Um, and I was awake until 7 o'clock this morning because I couldn't sleep. I don't know why. It's too hot. Uh, luckily, I'm on holiday. And... I managed to get a few hours and uh, I thought what best way to spend a few free hours on my birthday than record videos so uh, so our first mission protect the Washington uh, monuments the Library of Congress the Jefferson Memorial from terrorists oh yeah the Washington Monument the Library of Congress and the Jefferson Memorial from terrorist attacks these buildings are historical shrines must be saved I so what else have we got going on here we have ammo trucks Covered trucks contain one ammo crate. These covered trucks will drive around Washington to supply you with ammo. Yeah, always thought that was a bit strange. Like, do they just drive around with a 
guy in there um, waiting to die or someone just like put a brick on the pedal I don't know and then we have ammo and fuel just like in Desert Strike attack vans enemy terrorist attack van armor 100 power 20 these innocent looking vans have infiltrated Washington and converged on the Jefferson Memorial they must be stopped yep we have hippie vans and halves heavily armored uh, terrorist attack RV Oof, these things punch a little bit harder facing these RVs is no vacation good armor combined with strong firepower but fire rate is slow catch them once they reload yes okay well let's do this thing let's head up first Oof, I do love this oh this you know having this back in the day um, when we were kids or when I was kids I should say um, after literally playing Desert Strike uh, constantly until it was like burnt into my brain it was so exciting to have some more some more of that nice try buddy and uh, little <sighs> did I know just how hard this game was gonna be it's absolutely savage in comparison now our helicopters are slightly different this time around. We have the Super Comanche, as we have been told, not an Apache. Now, Comanches were actually real helicopters. They were going to be scout helicopters and uh, mainly scout ahead, and replace Cobras and things like that. Uh, oh, there's one of those ammo trucks. All of them. And uh, yeah, so. They were actually very advanced stealth helicopters, um, nowhere near as well armed as the Apache, but they were supposed to be spotters and that sort of stuff for heavier helicopters like the Apaches. Uh, the only thing is, they were cancelled. They never, I think two were produced, and that was it. Ooh, you son of a bitch. But they were nowhere near as heavily armed as this. They had stubby little hidden wings. Whereas you can see our super uh, Comanche here actually has uh, two sets of wings, technically, as we saw from the intro. It's got the, the hidden bay that unfolds and it has the rocket pods uh, on separate wings. So they have taken liberties with this thing. I was disappointed when the Comanche got cancelled because, man, that thing was so cool. It was too expensive and just they eventually deemed that it's not worth it. Because the Apache can essentially do everything this thing can do. Um, which is a shame. Anyway, mission complete. I always thought it was weird that they went with a Comanche. I mean, I guess back in 2000... Uh, when, when was the Comanche? I think it was first flown in 2004. So it's a really new helicopter when you think that the Apache is, I think, entered service in... Oh, I don't know when the Apache entered service. I'm going to say 1986, which is the year I was born. So the Apache is 34 years old. Currently going through a massive refit and upgrade. Uh, program very interesting stuff anyway so mission two government building seized by terrorist factions and used as headquarters locate and destroy the terrorist headquarters they've occupied several government buildings capture the leaders for information about future terrorist plots you got it boss now this thing actually has more armor than the apache from desert strike but but there is a big but good night sir there is a very big butt. Uh, the enemies <laughs> generally do way more damage in this game. Uh, the fuel system is exactly the same. We have slightly less gun ammo. We have uh, a thousand as opposed to one thousand one hundred and seventy-eight, I believe, in Desert Strike, which is the same amount of ammo that the Apache actually has in real life. Well, it's twenty millimeter gun. Uh, we have sixty hydras. On this bad boy instead of 30 um, which is nice and we're going to be using them a lot more and we also have I believe nine hellfires on this bad boy instead of oh god instead of eight on the Apache so we've got more weapons also the machine gun does more damage 
uh, in Desert Strike Machine Gun did uh, three damage per shot. In this one, they've upped it to five. So, oh, we're almost out of fuel. Yeah, unfortunately, they didn't bother to. Ooh, you fucker. They didn't bother to increase the fuel efficiency of this thing. Right, you're gone. So we've got some more armor there, which is actually quite nice. Ooh, we need to stop fucking around and pick that fuel up. There we go. Now, as for quick winch locations and stuff like that, I'm not really sure. Um, there is a quick winch on this mission. I believe it's actually in one of the fuel stations. Uh, I can't actually remember which fuel station it's in, but maybe we'll pick it up. We don't really need it on this mission, um, but yeah, I'm sure it is. Now, when I was a kid, uh, I actually scratched, <laughs> stupidly, I actually scratched um, some markers into my glass CRT TV screen. You couldn't really notice them uh, unless you looked for them with a pair of scissors or something. and. That was for one particular mission. That was really hard. And it does not tell you where there's any supplies. Might have something to do with the dark jungle. But we shall uh, encounter that when we get there. Alright, well, a lot more infantry in this game. I think there's like a few more infantry varieties. Which is cool. But we're not going to worry about that. In fact, there's a lot more enemy variety in this game. Uh, full stop. I know the embassies are going to be attacked. The car bombs you're looking for are green station wagons. Well, chum, that's useful. I'm sure there's only one brand. Oh man, I love this. That you get like police cop cars flying around and stuff. It's so cool. Is that? No, that's the hospital. Yeah, and look at the plaques. There's so much like detail here. It's really awesome. Um, the production values of this game really did go up uh, compared to Desert Strike. And I think Urban Strike kicks it up a little bit, uh, uh, another notch as well, but not quite as high as this game. Uh, or should I say not um, as much of a difference over this game because this game obviously set the bar really high anyway. Now, look at where the map cuts off there. So this is, we're actually on the edge of the map there, but we're only really two thirds over on the map. It's really misleading. Kind of like the original Desert Strike actually, uh, as the maps were a lot bigger. I don't know why they did that, it's really bizarre. All right, now we don't actually have to technically finish this mission because we've done everything we need. Ooh, low armor. Ooh, we're bingo weapons. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we are out of everything. Luckily, there was some armor up here. Let's go scoop that bastard up. And then, and then, then. Uh, Yeah, as you, there's like not a huge amount of fuel and stuff like that on this mission. I mean, there's plenty. There's absolutely plenty, and I think there is some more that we can discover later on. Uh, and I think they deploy more later on in the level. But to start off with, you're like, whoa. If you remember the original level of uh, Desert Strike, uh, in fact, most levels in Desert Strike, there was more than enough supplies to go around. Supplies in this game get really tight. So we've done this one. Uh, government building sees yep locate and destroy the terrorist headquarters. They've occupied several government buildings. Capture the leader for information about future terrorist plots. Car bombs used for terrorist attacks against foreign embassies. Find and neutralize the terrorist car bombs before they detonate in front of the five embassy buildings. Model car used is unknown. Don't target innocent cars. You got it. Now we can't find Agent Akbar just yet because we have to finish off these cars. So let's get on that. Okay, now look how high this helicopter is as well. It's <laughs> literally skimming the ground. I don't think that that would be too good. FBI, I used to love this. Oh, hey friend. We can't pick you up, but he's just there to give us a friendly, uh, friendly wave, which is nice, you know. It's care in the community. And look, cop cars pulled over someone there. How cool, like it's the little bits of detail that I, fucking love in this game it really was quite impressive and I used to just think this was like a little diorama city and 
you know, I used to think uh, about all sorts of games at the time, like Sim City and things like that. If you could zoom in right in, it would look a little bit something like this. Of course, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, but hey. Ah, and I'm really bugging myself now. Where's the, I, I don't even know if there is a quick winch on this level. I'm 95% sure that there actually is, but I'm not really sure. Right, fuel is empty, which is sucky. Let's go grab this. And that was a really frustrating time to have to go get some gas. Right, almost had us, son of a bitch. There's a CIA building there. I'll be seeing you a little bit later. There's the uh, IRS building, the, the tax place as well. Not quite sure where that is. But you actually get points if you blow that up, which I thought was quite cool. You lose points if you damage anything else. Um, but it's nice to see, even back then, game developers had a little bit of humour to them. Kill the tax office. Right, there you go. Mission complete. Right. Well, that was nice and easy, wasn't it? So, Agent Akbar. Secret Agent 86, codename Akbar. <laughs> Find and rescue Akbar, our secret inform uh, informant we believe is being held captive in a basement. He knows how and when the president will be attacked. He gets. Well, we better go pull his ass out of the fire then. Um, I think there's sometimes supplies in those. Now, yeah, uh, uh, again, in contrast to Desert Strike, they, even in Desert Strike, they actually uh, showed you, most of the time, where hidden items were in buildings. Look at this, like nice little shootout in the house. Let's open this up. Cops there, I guess the cops have been killed. Either that or they're bunkered down. Right, come here, buddy. Um, but in this one, it just doesn't. I found out that the president's limo is going to be attacked. He'll be entering the city from the southwest corner at any moment. You got it. Can't anybody just, like, radio ahead and say, uh, Yo, dude, you're going to get attacked. Probably hold back for a bit. You dig? But no. So, let's go kick some terrorist ass. So, yeah, anyway, the, the premise of this game is the son from the original is a little bit salty that you killed Daddy. Uh, obviously, he doesn't really care that much that Daddy was trying to, uh, you know, start World War III. Uh, family business, I guess. So, it's up to us to kick him in the balls. And he's teamed up with a drug lord. Now, this ain't you going variety drug lord. Now, there are some very powerful drug lords <laughs> in real life, I know that. But this guy, well, you see what this guy's packing. Holy shit. It's something uh, a little bit more intense than your garden variety drug lord. This ain't the local tr chav on the street. Right, look at this, man. This guy. Oof. Yeah, we probably don't want to kill him. But we do want to kill these guys. Yeah, they really want this guy dead, don't they? They really want the president wasted. We've got plenty of everything, but why be satisfied with plenty of everything when we can have lots of everything? Let's go grab some more fuel too. Now, our <sighs> motorcade has actually taken some hits here, so we want to be a little bit careful. I don't know how much health it has. Um, not enough <laughs> to take hits like that, I guess. So let's scout on ahead. Now, you can actually scout on ahead and thin out all of these areas, but as the president's driving around, well, I mean, you know, the president's driving around, his skivvy is driving him around, um, more enemies will spawn. So, best not to get too comfortable with that fact. But he won't actually continue without you anyway. So we've got to keep keep a close eye on him. I mean, this is about as close air support as it gets, really. Okay, this level's actually not as long as I thought it was either. I mean, look, we're on 25 minutes, and that's with all my waffling at the beginning. CIA. All right, guys. Not going to happen. I like the way that this guy has such big bollocks. He's right outside the White House. That's pretty impressive. Don't shoot me. I'm just a patsy. The drug lord gave me a map and told me to meet him in this jungle fortress. Really? 
He just just fucking gave you a map. All right. Well, hopefully someone back in the White House can read a map. These days I'm not too sure, but maybe back in, I don't know, 1995 or whenever this was, it might have been. Okay, let's take Mr. President back. And it's so obviously Clinton as well. It's brilliant. Lots of more cutscenes in this game. President's just run into the building there with a massive load in his pants. But that's okay. That's why we're here. Now you can actually destroy the White House and blow everything up. Uh, not a good idea, to be honest. Uh, if you value your career as a humble servant of the United States. But it is something you can do. Uh, really curious as to where that winch is as well. I, uh, hmm. Yeah, you can see the fuel's like been doubled up on. What I might do, guys, I'm going to pause it here. Let's drop off everybody at the hospital. I'm going to pause the game. And I'm going to try and find the quick winch. I'm not going to promise I'm going to do it on every level like we did with uh, Jungle Strike. Because I don't think there is a quick winch on every level. Because some levels, you're not always in the helicopter. Or if you are in the helicopter, you're not in the helicopter for very long. So, one second, guys. I am going to give the game a pause. Okay, guys. I've just had a quick scan and a quick read. And actually, there is no quick winch on this level. I didn't think there was. Actually, there's very few quick winches in this game, apparently. There's no quick winch on the second mission either, which makes sense um, when you see what we'd be doing. Anyway, let's go touch down. Let's go park this bass, shall we? There we go. I need to get my pen and paper out. Ah. And I do actually prefer this end screen to Desert Strike as well. I love the music. You know what, I'll probably be uh, mumbling this tune uh, on my deathbed. Right, so. Let's see if this code's actually any different to the one I got earlier. Um, so yeah, so we've got MZ. So it's R, L, M, Z. So it is a little bit different. I'm guessing the only differences are the uh, score. Because everything else will be the same. Uh, 3B, 9, W, H Z G. There we go. Right. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. When we return, well, it's mission two, sub hunt. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.